vibe. Five years ago, had a dream and a vision. One that would turn reality to fiction. I'm tired of sitting and wishing I switched the position to go in and get it. I did it and started to vanish with limits. It was like magic, but the only gimmick is hard work and slaving and drowning out critics until you blow up and you scream. Good day, welcome to the channel. Today I have a lovely video for you guys. It's a video with the Fortnite guy and the last one will be from JT. I'm just gonna say I really enjoy watching the Fortnite guys videos and JT videos. They're my two favorite YouTubers at the moment. I enjoy their content and I think they are very relevant in the YouTube platform but let's get into it so the Fortnite guy was covering a story with a huge youtuber named Faceway I watch him as well uh, he's a Fortnite content creator he's a pro player on the Fortnite scene he's a phase member it's a story that he and Amzars, I believe that's his name, Amzars, had a wager match and so misunderstanding took place where Face Sway thought Zars meant $50 or $10 for each round because it's a five round wager for mm. Zars. $10 for the whole five round but face way is like nah you said Philly but obviously if you watch a video you clearly see that I'm Zorz is actually correct because he said he's gonna start from ten dollar and work his way up so the wager the initial wager was ten dollar for the whole five rounds I don't know where face way saw that it meant fifty dollars. Like I watch, I watch, I watch it from Zara's point. I watch it from where Fortnite guy covered it, and I still see. And to me, it seems as if that Faceway knew that he was wrong. With what he has done because he has not replied. <laughs> he has not replied. He even went as far as to block the dude, but. I'm gonna let I'm Zara show you his side of a story and I'm gonna show you what the Fortnite guy covered. That's in the first part of this video. I'm gonna play the clips, sit back, enjoy, and have a good day. It wasn't, it wasn't serious. After I tweeted that out, he said this. I tend to owe you when you verse. LL, you never beat me in a series or kill me in general. That is false because if y'all seen that video clip I just put just then, I clearly beat Pickaxe Sway. And if you go watch that full video, I was beating Sway up by a lot. Then Sway gonna say, sure I'm down right now or later. And I couldn't do it at the time because I was offline and I was not no longer playing the game for the rest of the day. And Wills is gonna say, tell me if you really good for clips when you know. The thing about it bro, Wills is dude, I played Wills before, I pickaxed that kid. And I 15 to 12 on his servers, dude. What's the thing? He's so good too. Like these kids have a huge ego. And I know most of the people that's gonna be watching this video today, man. Y'all are sway fans. I understand that. That's how I don't everything. But you have to look at the facts, dude. Look at the facts. You can't be biased about the situation because it's not fair on my end. Sit back and just listen to what I have to say, and just just think about what's going on and who's wrong in this situation. And at this point, me and Sway just going back and forth on Twitter. He just keeps calling me a console player, down me and everything, doubting console players in general. Like, I've seen so many goaded console players in his community, dude. I've seen, like, crazy console players. And I'm just here to back up the console community because you can't just disrespect the community you just came from, man, you know? And then Sway was in my group chat. Khan had added Sway to my, uh, my, my clan's group chat. This is starting more beef and add more flame to the fire that has been going on for the rest of the night. So Sway gonna come in and say, yo Zars, why you talking crazy? Then I make you and give you a shout out. 
And first of all, man, Sway never made me. Yes, he did raid me back when I was like at 1K subs. That was like nine months ago. But that kid Sway never made me. No one made me on my channel, dude. No one. And I told him like, Sway, I'm not trying to start beef. But I want to wager both of them, you know, Wilson's and Sway. And then he said, calm down, PS4 player. And that, and like from right there, you know, everyone just egging on. Oh, crap, oh, crap, it's going to go down, it's going to go down. And everyone's just riding Sway the whole time, man. And at the end of the day, people are going to trust the more clouded person, you know. Because cloud means everything to anyone that's smaller than them, you know. You're a PS4 player, that's what's wrong with that. And I'm like, dude. There's nothing wrong being on a PS4, dude. Nothing's wrong with PS4. He's basically making not only making fun of me, but he's making fun of PS4 players. Now I'm saying that I pickaxed him, and he said I don't try against you on God. And he's like, bro, obviously you do, man. Because if you didn't, if you wasn't trying, if you didn't care about the situation, you would have been ignoring me this time, you know. But you obviously was trying against me. And now it's the next day, the day of the fight. And the thing about it, Sway had deleted everything. He he deleted all the tweets. He tweeted out. He deleted all the DMs everything because when i was live last night exposing this kid for literally falsely accusing me of scamming him he knew he was wrong so he deleted everything the guy literally tweeted out that i scammed him and that tweet got like almost 2,000 likes on it i got so much hate from it just watch man just watch i'm finna explain everything and expose everything that happened and went on yesterday but now it's the next day i dm sway like around four o'clock yesterday in the p.m and I asked him, was it 1v1 and 2v2? He said, it's a 2v2. And your duo versus me and Whistles and join. And then he just started taunting me. He said, sorry, let me find out you're nervous or whatever. And then he's going to send the money. So I said, okay, we got to talk first. How are we going to do this? Then he's going to say, PS4 players, man, LMAO. I'm like, bro, stop talking about console players, bro. Because I know a lot of people that can smack you, you know? See, that's what, that's what clout does to your head, man, you know? If you got a lot of clout on your hands, bro, you got the world in your hands, man. Do anything you want, say anything you want, man, you know? He just got that clout stuck in his head, bro. Like, he can do anything he wants, you know? Like, they, like he on top of the world, but... Now we're getting the game set up and everything. Now, this was the original bet. I said, we're gonna start off small, then go up. What I meant about that, start off small and go up, I meant we're gonna start off at $10, and if we lost that series, I would bet, like, another $10 or $20. Now, that right there was the original bet. I have no idea where Sway got ten dollars per round per round ten like, that makes no sense then i said I'm not betting 100 all at once when servers are bad at the time the creator servers were really laggy yesterday i'm pretty sure everyone was like 80 ping 60 ping 70 ping last game like yesterday it was bad and after that we was ready to play i'm over here thinking oh ten dollars if we lose this match we lose ten dollars and that's it but sway i don't know where he got ten dollars per round because if you look at the dms right now there's no way, there's nowhere I stayed 50 laws at in these DMs right here. And now we played the zone war. Me and my duel lost against Sway and against Wilson. Gotta know, I am on console, guys. I'm on console and my duel, he's on PC. So I was like lagging, like I think I was like 50 ping, solid 50 ping, frames dropping, like everything. But after me and my duel lost, Sway Demi's, I said GG's, and then he was like, send money, send money. I'm like, what are you talking about? And he's like, you sent 10. I said, I know. I said, that's the point. And he says, what? Send the money. I said, what money? I sent the money. Because before I wager Sway, I have to pay him to play him, dude. Before you put the match, I paid Sway $10. And then now he's talking about some send 50 scammer. I'm like, $50? No, that was never the bet. This is the original DM right here. We originally bet it on $10. I have no idea where Sway got $50 from. I know Sway, come on, man. Like, I know Sway don't go to school, bro. But this is this is common sense, dude. Like, why will you bet $10 around? Like, do you see $10 around in those DMs right there? Come on, now. And then he said that that we play for $50. He said, scammer. I'm like, we want to play for $10, dude. And I'm telling him, we never play for $50, dude. We never even mentioned 50 in the DMs, dude. He called me a scammer, holy scammer and stuff. i like, how am I scamming? And then the thing about it, Sway never gave me no chance to explain myself at all. Like, that whole conversation just didn't right there show that DMs. It was literally 20 seconds long. And then, and then he blocks me, dude. Like, there's no way I can contact him. He blocked me. Literally blocked me. And then he tweeted me. He tweeted me out. He said, Adam Zara just scammed me for $50. LOL. GG. He added me in everything. He knew exactly what he was trying to do. He was trying to send hate towards me. And I tried replying back. And then as soon as I replied back, he just blocked me. into where no one can see my tweet of me trying to defend myself. Because literally, I'm having hundreds and hundreds of people DM me, tagging me, calling me scammer. So much hate threats, dude. It was crazy. And you gotta think about it. Sway gets 3,000 likes per tweet. So, no, the game went strong on a tweet tweeting me out on. That tweet got 300 off the rip. 
and I'm literally getting spammed. Scammer, 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 pay 50, pay 50, pay 50. People telling me to kill myself, dude. Like, you don't understand. Sway's base, he has a big base. He has a ride and die base, dude. Sway doesn't understand what he did was very wrong. Like, him tweeting me out and he's falsely accusing me of scamming him. That was so unfair and safe, dude. Because you got to think about it. Sway base would do anything for Sway because he's Sway. You know, the best organization in the world. And then if you think about it, people could have been trying to hack me, track me down, cause harm to me and my family, dude. This could have been, this could have got way out of hand, bro. He has no idea how big his base loves him, dude. And I had no choice but to stream the situation and tell everybody what's going on, man. I had like 14, 1,400 people live yesterday, man. And then that tweet tweeted out about me. That tweet, that tweet was up for 30 minutes, dude. That tweet had nearly 2,000 likes on it. And I, my, my DMs were exploded. My DM, I had so many notifications. I had so much hate going on. I couldn't even explain myself because the man Sway blocked me. Like I said, at the end of the day, dude, the most clouded person is going to win every single time, dude. Because you have so many face Sway riders. Like, it's insane, man. And people just ignore the fact, like, oh, why would oh, Sway, oh, it's face Sway, why, why would he ever scam? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's in phase. You know, like, that doesn't matter, bro, because everybody is human, dude. And people will do anything to get over you, especially Clout. If you got a lot of Clout, he can do anything to get over you, dude. And what really shook my mind is when the supporter DM me, he said this. The whole situation, how he tried to finesse you because like, him tweeting me out and he's falsely accusing me of scamming him. That was so unfair and safe, dude, because you got to think about it. Sway base would do anything for Sway because he's Sway, you know, the best organization in the world. And then if you think about it. People could have been trying to hack me, track me down, cause harm to me and my family, dude. This could have been, this could have got way out of hand, bro. He has no idea how big his base loves him, dude. And I had no choice but to stream the situation and tell everybody what's going on, man. I had like 14, 1400 people live yesterday, man. And then that tweet tweeted out about me. That tweet, that tweet was up for 30 minutes, dude. That tweet had nearly 2,000 likes on it. And I, my, my DMs were exploded. My DM, I had so many notifications. I had so much hate going on. I couldn't even explain myself because the man Sway blocked me. Like I said, at the end of the day, dude, the most clouded person is going to win every single time, dude. Because you have so many face Sway riders. Like, it's insane, man. And people just ignore the fact, like, oh, why would oh, Sway, oh, it's face Sway, why, why would he ever scam? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's in phase. You know, like, that doesn't matter, bro, because... Everybody is human, dude, and people will do anything to get over you, especially Clout. If you got a lot of Clout, he can do anything to get over you, dude. And what really shook my mind is when the supporter DM me, he said this, the whole situation, how he tried to finesse you because you pay close to, if you pay close attention to the messages, he asked for $10. He said send $10 before y'all even fall, and if you were supposed to send him $50, he would have said send $50 before y'all fall. That's proof he tried to get over you. And that's another reason why. That's another thing, guys. If you have if you if you have a big following, bro, Pete, you can easily manipulate your viewers, dude. If you have a big following. And this was the original bet. Starting at ten dollars for the first series, dude. I don't understand where Sway got fifty dollars from, dude. And I already know the little nine year olds that's gonna be in the comment section. I'm like, oh no, no, you're a scammer, you're a scammer. Oh, oh no, Sway's always right. Sway, you gotta think about it. You gotta look at the facts, dude. You gotta look at the facts. I was even kicked out of my own clan because I got accused of scamming Sway. I don't understand what I went through, dude. I was even scared to wake up this morning seeing my channel gone, hacked, dude. Y'all don't understand, bro. And I was forced to stream right after he released that, released that tweet, dude, because I got I was getting bashed. So I'm about to roll some clips from yesterday's stream, man, so y'all can get a full summary of what happened, dude. Because this, this is crazy, bro. I was really about to contact the Fortnite guy to handle this situation, bro. Too quick. Way too quick. Hey, we really need to contact the Fortnite guy about this, dude, because this is getting too out of hand, man. Way too out of hand. Too quick. Way too quick. He sent it? Or... Look at him, bro. I don't like his attitude at all, bro. He coming here like he don't care. I kid Wills is good. I don't like I don't want to talk to him. He rude. Wills is rude. Look at him, he like, he Like, what, dude? He's doing all this stuff knowing that I'm getting hate from him, bro. He's gonna sit there and just laugh at me, making all these Tifu noises. Hey. Like, bro, I'm not I'm not your bro, first of all. I'm, not, I'm definitely not Tifu, dude. 
I'm definitely not. He, he trying to act like T fool and shit, bro. Like, no, I don't do that with me, bro. Cause you, cause you over trying to expose me for something I didn't even do. Scamming me. Same thing Ghost X did when he tried to expose Zelo for scamming. Zelo never scammed nobody, bro. Zelo sent all his Twitter hate to Zelo, and Zelo had hate for four months straight, bro. And Zelo had to sit sit down at night and think about all the hate he getting, getting threats every night like I'm doing right now, getting hate, but from a bigger person. A person that's in the phase, one of the biggest organizations in the in the world, and I'm still getting hate from it. Like what? Listen, listen to this, bro. Look at this, bro. Just listen. He doesn't even care, bro. Look at him. <laughs> like who the fuck you think you is, dude? She. You see that? Look, he trying to act like Tifu. She. Bruh. Ah. I don't like this kid at all, bro. He. Uh, I lost zero. I lost zero. Zero respect for Sway, dude. Zero respect for Sway, dude. Zero respect, bro. I'm just. I'm just gonna kick him, bro. After this, one, dude. Like, I don't like this, bro. See my nose bleeding, bro. Up, bro? My nose bleeding, nah, bro. Look at all. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? What's up, bro? I don't like that, bro. I don't, I don't like that. Look at that. Ask him what he doing. Why he doing this? Look at him. Look, look what he gonna say. Yeah, that's what cloud do to you, boys. You get that cloud, boy. You get that money. You get that cloud. With them views, boy. It do something to your head, bro. It do something to your head, man. And people like him, you get that clout, they go add you like this, bro. They don't send hate, send tell people to go over there and hate on you, see you devil's threats, and he gonna, he gonna respond doing this. But no, that's phase way. That's the best player in the world. Oh, I'm a beat rise way. Oh, that's way. That's phase way. Oh, phase, oh, you feel me? Like, that's the guy y'all, that's your idol? That's your idol? Cyberbullying is your idol, dude? Made me upset, bro, because I'm getting I'm getting hate right now, bro. I'm getting. Thank you all so much for watching the video, man. If y'all want to help this video get out there, bro, leave a like on this video would help a ton of like it will help a lot if y'all like the video, get it out there. But uh, please don't say no hate this way, bro. I don't I don't want him to be bashed for it. But I just want this I just want to show y'all and teach y'all something about how the YouTube algorithm works and like everything, like how people are, you know what I'm saying in the community. So uh. Just be careful when you wager anyone or like do anything. Like just be careful, dude, cause like stuff like this can happen. Like this this situation I was in could get out of hand. Really, really bad. Like we could have cops involved, like people coming to my house. You know, the same situation as Barry. Barry had he Barry had his phone number linked and everything. People calling the cops on his dad and stuff, like that could have happened to me, bro. You know? So thank y'all for watching the video, man. Just if y'all new to the channel, subscribe or whatever if y'all want. But uh, I'll appreciate it. Peace. Finals, Faye Sway accused Zars of scamming him for $50 in a wager. Here's a screenshot of a now deleted tweet of Faye Sway accusing Zars of scamming him. Faye Sway said this, This man, I'm Zars, got 5 zeroed and didn't send me the $50. LMAO straight scammed me. Faceway is not only one of the biggest players in Fortnite, he's one of the most respected, one of the best controller players there is out there, and he is also on one of the most famous esports organizations in the world, FaZe Clan. So you could probably imagine that if Faceway were to accuse somebody of scamming, that player's career would more than likely be over. Well, that's exactly what happened to Zars. His career was over. But what if I told you that he actually never scammed face sway well then i would really hope that you're not one of these people in one of these screenshots dming and harassing czar saying terrible stuff because guess what guys he actually never scammed face sway and today in this video i'm going to show you guys the entire story what actually happened and try to figure out why face sway accidentally or purposely tried to ruin i'm czar's career for no reason real quick guys do me a favor drop a like on this video every like really helps support the video and my channel also don't forget to subscribe for more daily content but now let's take a look at these dms between czar's and face 
Sway, which led up to the wager that Zars was accused of scamming Sway in. There are a total of 15 screenshots of DMs here, and I urge you guys to pause the video and read through every single one of them so you can fully understand what was said. So to save some time, I'm just going to go ahead and summarize all of these DMs, but again, if you guys do want to pause and read them all, that would be super important. But overall, Zars and Sway were setting up a wager, and Sway asked Zars how much he wanted to do. Zars said $10, and then they will work their way up. He didn't want to do $100 immediately because the servers were bad. And then the wager starts, and during the wager, these guys are messaging each other back and forth, you know, saying 1-0, talking about rules, just some small banter. But then Zars does lose 0-5, to five, and Faye Sway says, send the money. And Zars is confused. He's like, what money? I already sent it, the $10, which you guys can see very clearly in the first screenshot. Faceway asked Zars how much he was doing, and Zars said $10. And Faceway just starts freaking out, calling him a scammer over and over and over, while Zars shows him screenshots and tries to explain that it was a $10 bet. And Faceway continues to spam him and freak out. And this is what led up to that tweet that we saw earlier of Face Sway accusing Zars of scamming him for $50. And everything I just showed you is all of their screenshots. That's everything during the wager. There was nothing left out. You can see the start of every conversation and the end of that conversation in the next screenshot. And after reading every single DM, it is very clear that they agreed to wager $10, not $50. But for some reason, Faye Sway still went out and made that tweet calling Zars a scammer, which in return made thousands of thousands of people who follow Faye Sway believe that I'm Zars is a scammer, and not only that, it sent thousands of them to Zars to hate on him and say awful things in his DM. But Zars knew he didn't scam Faye Sway, and this was completely unfair for him, so he did his best to call out Faye Sway and try to clear his name, and he did confront Faye Sway and was able to get Faye Sway to delete that tweet, but it was way, way after the damage was already done and his reputation was ruined. But fortunately for Zars, he was able to confront Sway in voice chat on Fortnite about him falsely accusing him of scamming, and Faye Sway did not take it seriously at all. He basically sat there and laughed at Zars even though he had just ruined Zars' reputation and career for literally no no reason. Let's go ahead and roll that footage. Hello? You wanna talk? You wanna talk? Hello? Sway? You wanna talk, bro? Yo, 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 yo. Yo, what's up? Nah, ain't no what's good. Cause it, nah, don't 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 do that, bro. Don't don't do that. Dude, don't do that. No, 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 Sway. That's not cool what you did. You went over the line, dude. You you tweeted me out, bro. I'm getting so much hate right now for no reason. So much hate. Nah, nah, hey, nah, it's good. Nah, no, no, it's not. See, he over here laughing, but it's, 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 it's not safe for me, bro. And you over here laughing like you don't care. See, see, bro, I got that. See, see, Chad. This is what this is what Cloud do to your hair, bro. This is what Cloud do to your hair, bro. I I did the same thing with Four Edge, bro. Four Edge, that kid was going Hollywood on me, bro. Yeah, he over he over here yawning and stuff like he don't care, bro. But I'm getting tons and tons of hate for no reason. When I have literally all the DMs right here, all right here, everything is right here, dude. You get the seven to what? Why are you join my lobby, bro? Because I wanted to see what you gonna say. You're not saying. Anything. No, bro. I don't want. I don't, I don't. No, I'm talking to you, Sway, because you you tweeted this out. You you responsible for this? I don't want to talk to him. You heard giggling and laughing and joking like it's really making me upset, bro. Because it's, it's not safe for me that you tweeted me out. That tweet nearly got two thousand likes on it, bro. It was at one point four k likes on it. It nearly got two k. You know, you know, you know how many, you know what I'm saying? Makes no sense, bro. And you're in phase, you're in phase doing all this, bro. I thought you were professional, dude. You doing all this crazy stuff, man. Tweet me out and stuff, call me a scammer. Yeah, yeah. 
See, chat, that's what Kyle do to your head. So he got 1.4 mil, and now he just, now he just don't care, bro. He just, make, he's making all these noise, acting goofy and junk. Like this isn't safe for me, bro. You feel me? You see, this, this is what Cloud do to your head, man. Wait, no sweat. What, what Sway needs to do? He need to tweet out that I'm not a scammer, though. He needs to say Adam Zaras is not scam. He did not scam me. It was a miscommunication. If he said that, I respect him, dude. I don't respect him no more, bro. Cause what he did was BS, bro. Wrongfully accusing me of scamming him, dude, which I did not. No, dude, stop donating to the stream, bro. I, I don't want your donation, dude. I'm here to prove a point, dude. I'm here to, I'm here, I'm here to clear my name out, bro. Don't donate to the stream, man. Please don't, don't, don't donate. Now, the really sad thing for I'm Zars in this situation was that he was actually on the come up. He was around 30k subscribers. He just recently had a video get over 900,000 views. Then all of this drama happened and it just completely stunted his growth and pretty much ruined his reputation. And all Zars wanted to do was clear his name, but Sway was unwilling to cooperate and tweet out that it was a mistake and that Zars is not a scammer. And I'm sure you guys can tell that this guy clearly wasn't doing this for the clout he just wanted to clear his name he was telling people not to donate not to donate he doesn't want that he just wants his name cleared which makes it even more sad because guess what his name never got cleared and this also makes me feel really bad because during that time I was actually in New York preparing for the World Cup with all my players on Kungarna so I wasn't focused on all the drama news and stuff that I needed to upload on TFG so this slipped through I never heard about this until October 30th and Zars 100% deserves his name to be cleared so he can move on with his career and get his reputation back. He had so much hate coming towards him. It was unbelievably bad. Just take a look at this clip showing some of the messages he got. Like, I'm literally getting wrongfully accused of scamming Sway, which I did not. And, he gonna, and, and the dude gonna tweet it out. That tweet nearly got 2,000 likes on it, bro. And I'm getting so much hate. Like, look at my Twitter. It's blown, my Twitter is blown up right now, bro. I got so many. <sighs> look at this, dude. Look at this, bro. Look at this, bro. Scamming, scamming. Pay sway, pay sway. Pay sway, mate. Right now, pay sway. $50, pay sway. You're a scammer. Cure yourself. Like, someone tell me to kill myself on the game, bro. Like, that's just crazy, man. Bro, save 50. Get sway, it's $50. Cure yourself. Pay, pay or mom's dead, you dirty cancer patient. Pay sway, $50, or your mom is dead and you're a dirty cancer patient how you think that made me feel bro how you think that makes me feel bro how you how does that make me feel bro he tweeting that out i'm getting so much hate from it dude look at this dude call me the b word scammer scammer bro send fifty dollars send fifty dollars look at this i'm getting hate right now look at this kill yourself broke boy pay his way since right money dumb ass what dude what Look at him, bro. He over here laughing at me, bro. He knowing that I'm upset about the situation, but he gonna come over here laughing at me, even though he know he sent hundreds and hundreds of people telling me to kill myself on the, on the phone, bro, on Twitter, bro. And he gonna sit there and laugh about it. And this the guy, and this the, and that's your idol right there. That's your idol right there. That's the person you look up to. That's that's your person you tune into. You try to be like him, bro. And then he go, he come up here laughing at me, me laughing at people telling me to kill myself and stuff, bro. So after finally hearing this story about a week ago, I knew I had to make a video on it and clear Zar's name. And in order to support him, guys, you need to go check his channel out down below in the description. Please go watch his video, see if you like his content. And if you do, drop a sub on him, help him get his name back up there. He really deserves some nice comments, guys. He has gone through so much because this hate has continued. It hasn't stopped or died off. He was even forced at one point to completely rebrand, delete his videos, change his name to something something else and that still didn't even work so again guys please check his channel out down below in the description now let's talk about whether or not Faye Sway did this on purpose or all of it was an accident and he just didn't want to admit his mistake well, first things first, I reached out to Faye Sway several times. As I said, I heard about this story on the 30th or 31st, and ever since then, I DM Sway at least every other day, letting him know I was covering this story, I wanted to hear his side and see what he thought about it, and he completely ignored everything. And at one point, I was just like, dude, let's just try to help this guy out and clear his name, and you can avoid a negative video about you. Like, come on, man, you gotta at least fill a little 
little bit bad. And at one point, I even reached out to him publicly and said, hey bro, please reply to my DMs. This is very important. I want to cover your side of this story and nothing guys and you know he saw my dms you know he saw this tweet and he still didn't respond to any of it i can't say 100 percent what face sway's intention was behind getting this czars guy in trouble but at the end of the day that doesn't even matter let's just help out czars let's get him some good positive comments on his twitter his youtube whatever it is he's a really cool and nice guy i'm sure you guys can tell from this video that is going to be it for me there you have it that's a story on Zars and Faceway. I hope Faceway comes out and sincerely apologizes to Zars and make things right, man. The Fortnite community is a very loving community, he, and I think he should just show love to Zars, man. The hate is not needed. All the drama is not needed. You know. Just have fun playing the game. That's what it is all about, man. Playing the game for fun. And I can say Zara's a I can see that Zara is a cool dude. He's just so chill. You know, he just wants to clear his name. And just have fun playing the game, bro. That's why he do a lot of wages. But that's that. Time to get into the next story. Next story that we're gonna look at is JT man. Oh my god. Imagine like, like I said, these big YouTubers or these big you channel YouTube channels tend to want to take advantage of the smaller ones. Although JT have a very large fan base, but this dude from Indonesia have 12 mil subs, I believe. And he's basically having his way with JT. <laughs> <laughs> That's may sound weird, but if, if you know what I mean. They just want to just do whatever they want to do to people, man. Imagine the guy took his content, took JT's content, and took credit for it. You didn't even say, I got it from JT, this YouTuber, links in the description. Yeah, and by the way, all the links to all the stories that I'm talking about today, they're down in the, down in the description. Like I said... Go and subscribe to the Fortnite guy. He's on the one mil milestone right now. He's, he's like halfway there. And do the same for JT. He's almost off. He's almost halfway there. But I want to see these guys at the mill, man. I enjoy watching their channel. I enjoy their content. And I hope you all just go over there and show him some love. And it's about time. For us to get into the next part of this video, I just want to say, man, it's been a rocky ride for these guys, but you can see that they made it, man. They made it somewhere in the community, and I wish for y'all to keep on showing them love. Have a great day and enjoy the rest of the video. Peace out. What's up? I'm back with another video and it seems to be another video trying to defend myself because people are trying to take me down for my recent video. Now I wanted to upload a completely different video, nothing to do with this situation. I've been wanting to do that for five days but I can't do it. So that video will still come out but not yet. So once again I called people out for stealing because they stole my content, you've probably seen my video. And people are trying to silence me again, just like the Enos situation with the false strikes. I've had five false reports against me. Now I know these are false and I'll show you them all later, but these are privacy reports. Now you can see them all on screen right now, okay? So there's five reports which were sent from the YouTube support team and they say, Dear JT, this is to notify you that we have received a privacy complaint from an individual regarding your content and then it links me the video. Now I am going to show you what it says inside these emails and the link is to my recent video, but let me just fill you in on the situation. So this is everything that happened since I posted my video. So of course I posted my video and then after a few days it went viral in Indonesia, okay? Now when I say it went viral I mean almost every single news source reported on it. I think I even went on like the television site for one of the news sources. Now they did this- Vibe, five years ago had a dream and a vision One that would turn reality to fiction said 
tired of sitting and wishing I switched the position to go in and get it I did it and started to vanish with limits It was like magic but the only gimmick is hard work and slaving and drowning out critics Until you blow up and you screaming I did it Believe me I live it I said that shit in a song then believe me I did it Refusing belief and just not being with it Will leave you behind in the dust or a divot I wish I was kidding I just went off and dipped out